Hi there, it's me, Melanie Grace. Um, I'm at my mom's house, I'm spending the night here, and um, I'm working, I'm working from home because of my job, and I have a travel machine that I keep at my mom's house, and I've taken it uh, on vacation with me, and I just wanted to share with you guys, I think I posted a video about this when I first opened it, and it took me some, took me some time to get to understand how to use it. But this is my Janome home and it weighs like five pounds. Like it is so lightweight and all you have to do is take your time with it and go slow. And it's a great machine. And I think when I, when I bought it a couple years ago, it was only like 50 bucks um, with inflation and supply issues. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be more on like 75 price point, but guys, if you know how to use a sewing machine, I want to show you this. So I'm going to flip it around. So as mentioned, this is my Janome new home. Um, I bought it in this amazing like fuchsia color and um, I got my quarter inch seam tape. It has a drop in bobbin and because it's small and portable, I just use another like pre-filled bobbin um, on the thing. It has a winder. It has very limited stitches. I always keep it on D because D seems to be the best um, for me. Let me zoom in. I've been sewing a jelly roll. So, I mean, that's that's the stitch, guys. I mean, the tension is fan. Actually, that I got stuck, but um, <laughs> bad example. There's one side. There's the other. It's a great little machine. And like I said, it only weighs five pounds. I have this carrying case that I put in it and it has these little straps and I'll show you how to pack it up when I'm done here. But I mean, it's a great machine. Like look at the size of my hand. Like there's not much to it. My kids gave me these foam um, stickers and I put them on because they're fun. Um, I put a magnet back here for a magnet light so I can see better when it's dark, but this comes in so many different colors. Um, I'm going to link it below, but, um, I just love it. So let me see if I can, I don't have a phone mount, so I'm going to have to one-handedly show you, but we'll see. Hold on. All right. So I am doing a jelly roll quilt. Um, I'm going to pair these up. I'm going to make sure they're lined up. The... Number one thing you're going to need to remember about this machine is there is one speed and one speed only. So if you want to go fast, too bad. If you want to go slow, too bad. It's a nice medium speed. So here. So let me see if I can focus. So since I already have it in there, I'm going to just start quilting. And it's pretty loud, but it does a trick. See, that's that's the speed. Doing this with one hand is difficult. But yeah. I think it's on a cord, which is why it's wobbling. Hang on. Okay. This this should not wobble. Let's see. Much better. There you go. I keep lifting my foot off. That's why I keep stopping. But there you go. So there you go. A perfect five pound travel machine. I've used the zigzag stitches. I've used some of these other stitches. It is the greatest, tiniest machine if you need to get your sewing fix when you're traveling. I'm gonna be going to Hawaii next summer and I am planning on taking this puppy because it only weighs five pounds or maybe seven. It is so lightweight, pre-wound bobbin. It's perfect, perfect for what I need. Um, however, when I go home, I'm going to be using my Juki Haruka 18 QVP because that's my, my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Anyways, 
Thanks for tuning in. Get yourself a lightweight sewing machine. Take it with you wherever you go. Okay.